Today we're going to learn how to both power up and put into standby our Optima GT1090 HDR projector. This should also work for the 1080 projector. Uh, it's all in the manual exactly the same way. I don't have one to test, uh, but it should work exactly the same. Now we're not using an ethernet connection. We are not using a serial cable. We're not even using an IR blaster. We are using a simple HDMI cable. Uh, so let's go ahead and get started. Now the very first thing you're gonna to need to do is you're gonna to need to change a couple of settings on the projector itself. So we're gonna go into setup and we're gonna look for the HDMI link settings. And then once we're in there, we need to uh, change HDMI link to on. Inclusive TV is gonna be a no. Power on link is gonna be device to uh, PJ or the projector. Uh, and the power off link needs to be on. Okay, so these settings need to be changed on the projector first before you do anything else. Then after that, we need to go ahead and open up a uh, Raspberry Pi running Falcon Pi player. And I've got one already set up right here. And uh, here it is. Now, this has been absolutely minimally configured. Uh, basically, I've expanded the file system, uh, you know, set up my time zone. And I did want to make one important change, though. Uh, over here under status and control, under FPP settings, under system, I'm forcing the HDMI display. And that's actually really important because if you don't force the HDMI display, at least on this Raspberry P, uh, 3 that I'm testing on, uh, it will cause problems with the uh, process we're about to do here. Uh, so you want to make sure that you have that checked, force HDMI display. Okay, so what we're going to use actually is a uh, special function for HDMI called CEC or Consumer Electronics Control. Uh, and that's not by default installed on a Raspberry Pi, so we need to install it. Now for that to happen, this Pi must be connected to the internet. So uh, this Raspberry Pi is on my uh, Wi-Fi network, uh, and so we are good to go on that. Uh, let's go ahead and get that configured. I'm going to come over here under Help, and we're going to go all the way down to the uh, SSH shell and click on that. And it's going to open up a new tab, but we need to log in. And the uh, login is uh, FPP. And the password is Falcon. Uh, that's all lowercase, by the way. F-A-L-C-O-N and enter. There we go. So now we are in a uh, remote shell session uh, onto our Raspberry Pi running Falcon Pi player. Uh, now, so what we need to do is install the software. And so what we're going to do is we're going to do a uh, sudo uh, app install. And the uh, item we want to install is cec dash utils and just hit enter on that and by the way all these links and uh, text items will be down in the description below uh, so don't worry about it you don't have to remember these uh, they will be exactly copied down below so you can just cut and paste and uh, go to town on that and it's prompted me that uh, hey do you want to use up some uh, additional disk space on this uh, definitely do so uh, hit uh, y and hit enter There we go, we're actually uh, pretty much already set up. Now, uh, what we need to do though is find the address of our projector. Uh, and so the uh, command to do that is uh, echo, and then a, a single quote there, so not the double quote, the single one, scan, and then the uh, pipe symbol, and cec-client, minus s, minus d, and then a one. And by the way, I got these uh, commands off of a website called Pi My Life Up. Uh, they had really excellent instructions, so you know, all credit to them for uh, these esoteric CEC commands. Let's go ahead and execute that. It's gonna take just a second here. And there we go. Now we have two entries here. The very first one, device zero, is, is listed as a TV. However, I know that that is my projector. Uh, and then the second device is always seems to be there. I think it's a built-in test item uh, that comes with the uh, software, uh, and that's recorder one. Now, though, the uh, if you notice the address on underneath TV is 0.0.0.0. .0, .0, .0. And we're going to be needing that because all of our commands will be issued to that device. Now, um, on I only have the projector hooked up 
under a single uh, HDMI port on this Raspberry Pi 3. It only has one anyway. Uh, and in every case, it has always been 0 .0 .0 .0. Uh, 0.0.0.0. So I think you can safely assume, as long as you only have one display hooked up, your projector, uh, that it will be 0.0.0.0. .0 .0 .0. Uh, so that's what we're going to use for all of our commands. Uh, so uh, how do you actually issue a command to it? Well, it's uh, pretty simple here. It's just a variation of what we typed before. Uh, we're going to do an echo. And then I'm going to do uh, a single quotes and then on. And then we got to put in that address. So uh, whoops, 0, .0, .0, .0, .0. Uh, And then you're going to close the quotes. And then again, that pipe command. Uh, and then we're going to do the CEC dash client minus S minus D and one. So it's not an L, it's a one. All right. Uh, and if we uh, hit enter on that, it's actually going to turn our projector on. And uh, by the same token, I'm going to use the up arrow, by the way, so I can just edit this command. Uh, if we come over here, uh, you don't type off, by the way, you type standby. And that'll put the projector in standby mode. Uh, and if I hit enter on that, that's going to cause our projector to go into standby mode. Now, uh, there are a few other uh, functions of CEC, uh, like uh, mute and volume up and volume down. None of those work for my Optima 1090. Uh, so uh, you can't really do anything except turn it on and put it into standby. But, you know, hey, that's still pretty darn handy just as is. Now you might be saying, well, hey, it's okay to type a command line, but that's no fun, right? Uh, I want to actually have this controlled and automated way using Falcon Pi Player. Well, you certainly can. Uh, and so what we're going to do is we're just going to embed these exact commands into some shell scripts, and then we're going to issue those from a playlist. Uh, so let's go ahead and do that. So I'm going to switch tabs back over here to our main Falcon Pi Player interface. And I'm going to go over here to uh, Content Setup and the file manager, and we are gonna upload a couple of scripts. And uh, let's go ahead and I'm just gonna drag and drop these in here. There we go, they're very small, so they uploaded super quick. And if I'm gonna select each one here, we'll just take a look at it. This is a projector off, and if I do a view on that, you notice this exact same command, echo standby 0000, uh, the CEC client uh, minus S minus D and one. Uh, so it's just going to issue that exact same command we did on the command line, and that's going to put the uh, projector into standby mode. So we'll go ahead and close that down. And by the way, of course, if your projector for some reason was a different address, you would just change the number in there and, uh, you know, fix that problem. All right, and then here's the projector on. Very similar again, it's just echo, but in this case it's on. The uh, zero address, CEC client, uh, minus S minus D, and one. And that's really all we need. And we can embed these into a uh, playlist if you want. So for example, I'm gonna come over here and I'm gonna create a, uh, let's see here, a new playlist. And we're just gonna call this, uh, let's call this uh, uh, play and done. I don't know, something like that. <clears throat> all right. And uh, I'm gonna add a couple of things in here, but I'm gonna go ahead and just save it. Uh, and then let's go back over to the uh, content setup in the file manager. And I'm gonna drag in uh, a video here. Let's see what we've got that might be good. Uh, here's some, uh, the Boneyard Band. We'll just throw them in there. And gonna upload here. So now that we got our uh, Boneyard Band uploaded, uh, let's go ahead and go into our uh, playlist again. And we're gonna edit this playlist. And we're gonna add a couple of items here to it. First of all, under media, we're gonna add the Boneyard Band. So we just click add on that. And then we are going to uh, click uh, add a sequence entry again, but this time we're gonna switch it to script and I'm gonna do projector off. There's no arguments or anything, it's just projector off and click add. And so what this is gonna do is when we play this playlist, it will actually play the Boneyard Band and then it will actually put our projector into standby mode. So make sure you save your playlist. And then we can just come over here to uh, FPP. Uh, and then you can just hit play. And off it will go playing the uh, Boneyard Band and then it's gonna power off the projector when that's done. Now one thing you may like or not about this is now as soon as you power on your Pi, your projector will automatically come out of standby mode 
and turn itself on and start projecting what's on the Pi, which makes it great for like immediate startups and everything. Uh, now, if you don't like that, you'll have to set it up so you'll issue uh, a command to do projector off, for example, to put it you know, back asleep again, basically, uh, until you're ready to actually use it. Uh, so that is one kind of side effect here. Uh, and again, you know, uh, there's a whole bunch of commands here like mute and everything, volume up, volume down. None of those seem to work. So we basically just got on, and standby and that's it uh, but that's pretty good as it is so that's really it for the video here I'm gonna go ahead and show you a little demo of it uh, booting up automatically playing a video and then automatically shutting itself down here at the end uh, which you can watch if you like uh, but that's really it for actually setting up this uh, uh, control basically uh, and it's super easy and super quick and you don't need any special cables or anything weird it's just a standard HDMI cable that you've already got running out of your Pi into your projector uh, and this will 100% work with the uh, 1090 uh, it is very very likely to work with the 1080 and it may well work with other projectors that have CEC so check your manuals for CEC and see if it supports it Anyway, that's it for the video. I certainly hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, please like and subscribe and tell people about the channel. Uh, and until next time, I'll talk to you later.